Atlanta Skate Interviews. Skate Legends. Skate Legends. Woo! If y'all don't know who this is, you're about to find out. Because I know who this is. Please give our viewers your uh, Instagram information. My name is Richard Humphrey. They call me the Roller Dance Man. Now, please let them know the history because when I saw you, for first of all, I'm gonna tell you how blessed it is for us to have you on the channel. Okay, it, it's, it's definitely a blessing because I have a pair of skates at home. They know what pair of skates they are. They are Richard Humphreys. Okay, no shoestring skates. I've been waiting on them to come out forever, and they came out again. I want to say last year sometime. Yeah, and that's when I ordered them, and I was okay. like, you know what? Okay. What better interview with the interview the man that actually <laughs> I, I pair of skates and they ain't that big of at home. <laughs> so please let our viewers know how long you've been skating. Uh and you know what what kind of kept you going through the years? Well actually I started skating when I was a kid. I started skating that I know of in 1957. Okay. So in 1957 we had metal skates. <laughs> so the metal skates back then, this is gonna help you appreciate it, the skate key. I remember the skate key. So we all had the skate key. Well, I don't. I never had a skate key. Okay, well, I remember they had a skate this key. This is the skate key. This is one of the original skate right keys. Now. This is it right here. So I skated in the 50s, and then I started skating again in the 60s in my teen years. And then in the early 70s, the bug just hit, and I've been skating ever since. I mean, literally, I've not skated since the early 70s. Wow. Yeah. So y'all do know it's 2024, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was staying at least 20 years before I was born. <laughs> that in itself makes you a legend because you're still here today. You're still going. People still do your routines to this day. You know, I mean, you're a true legend, yeah. you know, within the skate world. Well, I appreciate it. You know, I, I don't look at myself as that, but it, it feels good that your peers give you that recognition you know what i'm saying yeah. because yeah. i'm a regular guy at the end of the day but just so happens i found my niche early in life and so once i found it i was like what's a better way than to share what i do yeah because you know a lot of us get talents and stuff and people don't even know it yeah and then so and then some people are selfish yeah. they don't want to show you so i figure like why not what a lot of people don't know is that I had one of the first instructional videos on the YouTube on Inst on on the internet in 1996. And guess what? Guess what? I remember you had on this little they, they, we call them white beaters. Uh huh. But back then it was just a, a little shirt. Yeah. It looked like a white beater. I remember yeah. I watched the video and I say, Yeah. Who is this dude doing these routines? Yeah. Back in the day, and I was like. I want to do routines, you know, yeah. like, I mean, cause for me, it's, it's, it's the togetherness that you bring. Once you start doing the routine, it's like, you know what? People want to learn it. Yeah. You stop, you teach them. And, and it just brings people together. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that was when I go. So like in the, in the late seventies up until 1990, our skating group performed a lot. So during that 10 year period, we didn't share what we did yeah. for a reason. Because if we just shared what we did, everybody would have taken our content yeah. and we would have never got recognition for it. Wow. So even today, even when I post videos, which I post a lot, I don't post my whole videos. I post bits and pieces of it. Oh. So like the line dance you see a lot of people are doing today, people don't realize that I started that in 81. But we didn't share it until 91. Wow. And the only reason why I didn't share it because our group went different directions. They basically retired. Yeah. So now I was at a crossroad. What do I do with all of this? So then I started teaching my classes. So I had the first roller dance workout class probably in the world wow. that I know of in 1991. Because okay. there was no such thing. There was no internet. There was none of that stuff. So all, all our creativity came from within. Yeah. You know what I mean? We didn't have nobody to look at. We just went with our own gut. 
what we did a lot was we took the, the mainstream dancers and we incorporated them into our dance routines. Okay. And that's what we've always done forever. You know, so, so uh, yeah. So when people, so now the way social media is, people can take things and do what they want with it. Yeah, that's true. But what I've done, because I like to defend what I put out there. So when people start saying it's this, it's that, and I'm going like, no, we've never called it that. I've never called it that. People take it and make it. They, they take it and then say, yeah. you know what? This gonna be ride the beat move. Exactly. Ride yeah. the beat number two when it's re really yeah. Richard Humphrey. Yes. Yeah. And you know? so, so my thing with the line dance was this. All I wanted people to do is just be on the same page. Yeah. If I wrote a book, wrote a record, song, or whatever. That's my song. That's my book. Yeah. Don't discredit me yeah. because That's you don't know who I am. Man, facts. Right? And, yeah. You know, and so my thing is, is that it's okay to give credit. People right now can go on social media and do something. Three months later, you're going like, hey, I'm doing a roller dance class uh, starting next week. And you go like, dude. Now, now they don't know. And all they've done was taking your content or parts yeah. of it. Yeah. Now, I've always said that once people get a whiff of it, yeah. it's okay to change things around. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing I wanted people to do is, if I created my girl, keep it as my girl. Yeah. You can change it later on, yeah. but the whole idea behind that is when we get together, everybody know the steps. Yeah. So the steps that I created and the names that associated with were for a reason. So when people say, and a perfect example, this is a great time to do an interview on it. So, and I don't hesitate to say it. Right now, one of the things people keep saying is the downtown. Okay. If you haven't heard the word downtown. Yeah. Downtown is one name. So if I, if somebody said we're doing the downtown, but I say, but there are 24 steps. So which one is downtown and what is that step then? Yeah. What is the name of the second or third step? Yeah. So people nowadays are going like downtown one, downtown two. Well, what is two? What is it? Yeah. yeah. Explain it to me. Break it down. Everybody too might be different. Yeah. So the whole idea was when I did my book, I did a book first with all the instructions, all the follow through. It was very difficult. So then I did a video. Okay. So then it was easy to start following the video. Is that book still out? I have it, but it's, I have it. Okay. It's called Roller Dance and a Workout on Skates. Okay. So can we find that book out here? I have it. Oh, yeah. So you can get it from me. Okay. So, the book has all the steps of the names that I created, followed by my video. Everything is broke down step by step. So when people say, oh yeah, we call that, and I'm going like, but you know what? I think somebody do that. I think somebody already have that. So don't claim it. If you learned it, if you saw it on video or whatever, it's okay to say, I learned this from so-and-so. We all, people done done Michael Jackson in the moonwalk. They go like, yeah, I learned that from Michael. I learned that from Prince. Yeah. It's okay to say that you learned it from a skater who's been around for, so when somebody say yeah. Bill Butler, everybody go, oh yeah, that's Bill. Yeah. Yeah. And, and nobody discredits Bill. And you can look at it and tell it's Bill anyway. You can look at it. So now when you see a certain style like the line dances that people are doing like now, the steps are so obvious. Because you do not wake up in the morning and know those steps. Yeah. You didn't watch them secretly in the dark in the night. You may not post on it, but you get up, you get in your kitchen, go in your basement, and you down there practicing. Yeah. And all of a sudden you said, Hey, I got everybody, I got a new line dance I want to show you. And we look at it and go like, that's old. So my thing to the skate world is like, Hey, it's okay to give credit where credit is due. Don't discredit. And the reason why I say that, because especially as, as a black person, we've had so many things stolen from us and taken from us that's right, that's that true. we would never get credit for any of it. So my thing is, give credit. If you learn a move, if you learn it on Instagram or whatever, sometimes it's okay, do a little research. Find out where that move started from or yeah. something. Because when I started posting videos in the 90s, I didn't post videos for a reason because then people were stealing your content. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So I would just do bits and pieces. So I'll post a video now and then go, hey, 
1995, this is the first video I've ever posted. And you see the steps, and then you see them in New York, and you see them in San Diego going like, how they all doing the same steps like that? But nobody says, it's a roller dance workout by Richard Humphrey, or that was how where we got it from. My first tape was a VHS. Most people don't even have VHS anymore. That's true. So my thing is, it's okay to just give credit where credit is due, and then you move on. That way we're not forgotten as a people. And that's all I want for my legacy is what I've done. If you got the temptations, I follow temptations, I follow James Brown. That legacy is there. We can speak on that. We should be able to do the same thing in the skate world. And one of the things I've always said, for example, like when it comes to line dancing, the skaters have followed the mainstream dancers forever. Somebody show me a archive of dance steps that skaters do. One name, one dance, and you can't find it. So we all can't get on the floor and say, let's do the shuffle by Richard Humphrey yeah. or do yeah. the yeah. something just by ATL or something like that. We don't have it. Yeah. And it's like too much fighting going in between. Yeah. We yeah. need to stop that. That's the only way we're going to work together. And we need to do that. Well, I think, I think that's why now, like when you're at national parties, people call the shuffle move to downtown, right? Yeah. So, when a lot of people, and, and that's what I thought the name was, I can't lie, until you told me it wasn't, just to that moment ago, I thought it was the downtown. Right. So, you know, normally what happens at skate parties or national parties is when you're in the middle, people will start off with just that one shuffle move, and then they will build, then they will build. Then they will build from there and say, you know, we're going to spin at the end. All right. After we spin at the end, you know, we go step. And it's like they, they eventually teach you the whole routine, but they got to bring it down versus, you know, like you said, you already laid the, blue, the blueprint down. If they just learn that one blueprint, they can say, all right, we're going we're gonna to do the Humphrey. Mm -hmm. Everybody know what it is because nobody went in there and tried to change the steps. And all we so. and all we try to do is it's is just the way to bring people together. Yeah, oh yeah, you know, definitely, definitely. Like like myself, for example, like when it comes to line dancing, one of my biggest inspirations is not a skater. He's a line dancer named Big Moochie. If you never Big heard Moochie, the name man. Big Moochie, baby. About. So the way I met Big Moochie, I did the biker shuffle on skates. I was the first one. Oh man. And he saw the video. And he hit me up and responded. He said, man, you're the first one I ever seen doing it on skates. So Big Moochie said, man, I need to come out and see you. He came out to California to my studio and wow. we hung out. And we've been friends ever since. Wow. So I am a Big Moochie follower. So any video that I post of any dance by Big Moochie, it says by Big Moochie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I give yeah. that credit back. Yeah. The worst thing I could do is like, no, nah, man, that's my move, yeah. you know? And Big Moochie see that, I can imagine the smile on his face, and then he responds back. Yeah. And the same thing happens with me when somebody say, you know what, a lady last week said, I saw you doing this move called The Wave, and she tagged me on it, and I just want you to know that I'm watching that, and I like that move. That's Richard Humphrey. Yeah. yeah. And I like that. You know, it's okay to give credit, you know? And that's why I put the content out there. I put it out there so other people can learn. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, you don't learn this stuff overnight. It's not. It it, it takes time. It takes time. You know, people think you just get out here and do the. These people practice and rehearse yeah. a million times before they get out here tonight. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. So that's the only way that, as a community, we can continue to be together and start being divided. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, let's do that line dance tonight, Richard. Let's do uh the workout. So instead of the work, instead of the downtown, I call it the workout because it was all inspired by exercising on skates, which nobody did yep, back in the right. 80s. And what people don't know, in 1998, I got my first U.S. patent <coughs> on a skating product that related to skating and exercise. It was called a Roller Deck Plus. No such thing in the world. And to this day, I still have it. I still play with it and stuff. But I was, it was ahead of its time. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so now it's a workout. People don't see it like that, but that's what it is. And so the whole dance was built around a workout, not a downtown, not a uptown. 
So the names, I say the names like in my sleep. Regular long short, triple, full turn, half turn, half back, back now, yeah. tap, A turning around the world. That's my soul. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when I talk about my product, that's my product. And I try to protect my product. Because if I don't, everybody else is going to steal your product. water it down. never give you credit. Have you ever collab with another skater on a move? Lots of times. Wow. And it's, you know, it's, it's interesting because once you do a lot of dances and stuff, it's easy to navigate if the person that's doing that move can break it down and teach it to you. So the whole idea with line dancing is being able to break it down and be patient to teach it because every good skater is not a good dancer. And every good dancer is not a good instructor. Yeah, well, yeah that's true. Because a lot of people right now that this instructor's coming out the woodwork right now. People are being certified right now and over the internet right now teaching people how to be certified instructors in a weekend. It don't work like that. I'm sorry. Look, look. You know what I'm saying? For a year. Not even that. So it discredits the skaters who really have put the time in who don't get the credit for it. Right? It's just like if you went to Juilliard, you ain't going to be qualified to to reach to the top for five or ten years yeah. Yeah. before you make it to where you are. The same thing with skating. Yeah. Like right now, with the Usher effect and all that, it has given people opportunities. That's great. But a lot of people, before these young skaters there, people need to realize that there's still some of us out there that really, really know the craft. Yeah. We can still do our thing. But of course, I fall into that older OG category. I'll be 72 this year. Oh, no, you're a legend. Though. So, you know what I'm saying? I say, this is so, real true. <laughs> so, so, my thing is, is that what I like to, the younger generation to know is just because I'm older don't mean I'm washed up. I can still hold my own. Yeah. Oh, Maybe yeah. not the flips and the jumps, but when it comes to the dance and the choreography and the experience, I don't even have to think about it because yeah. I do it in my sleep. Yeah. They can't hold a camera to that. So, you know what I'm saying? I know that for a fact. I've watched some of them. Yeah. So, I just, I love the skate community. That's why I come to these events to just mingle and say hello. I'm not no prima donna. I'm not none of that. I'm just Richard Humphrey who loves to skate. And I want to pass my passion on to that next generation for people who will embrace the style for those that are serious about it. I'm not going to waste my time if you're not going to do something with it. So what I do is, instead of giving a piece, a person a piece of paper and say, you're certified to be Richard Humphrey's instruct, instructor, what I do to my, my people, and I got about four or five of them here today, I simply do this. You now have my blessing to do your thing, and I don't care what you do with it, because you done done it the right way, you done spent your time, you yeah. done spent your money, yeah. you have my blessing, and I'm going to just sit back and go, I'm a proud guy to watch and see you prevail, right. and then it's going to grow. Bird. Yeah, I got, I got it. That's how it works. <laughs> so a piece of paper is one thing, being able to pass it on when people see your style. So a lot of times people ask me, what's my style? It's Humphrey style. Oh, it's baby. my style. It's something that I created because I am totally self-taught by myself. And I feel proud about that. I don't follow trends. I don't follow people. I follow me. And that's yeah. what I've done what I am today. And that's the way you have to be. Yeah. That's the way so, you have to be. Yeah. So if there's anyone that you would uh, like to acknowledge or give a shout out to, this would be the time to to do that. I want to give a shout out to all the skaters that are in the Roller Dance Academy. And the reason why I say the Roller Dance Academy because it's something that I've built and now it's growing. It has branches now. It's alive. It's moving. Because they come every Sunday morning at 9 o'clock when they can be other places and they hang out with me for 4 or 5 hours every Sunday they watch every little thing I do the way I pop my fingers the way I move my feet 
And I feel really good about that. But I also want to give homage to a lot of the older skaters who have passed down some of their craft and their legacy to some of the newer skaters. We, we haven't forgotten about you. But I also want to say to all these new skaters and everything, it's okay to give a little credit to where credit is due. Because remember, if you're 20, 30, you're still learning. There's still a lot to learn. So don't feel like you're all adding a cup of tea right now just because because it, it could be gone tomorrow. Just remember that. You have to enjoy your moment because it could be gone tomorrow. Is it? Yeah. Well, look, hey, we appreciate you coming out. <laughs> Blessing us with this Thank you. interview. <laughs> all right. True yeah. state legend here, baby. Richard right. Humphrey. <laughs> and that's a wrap.